this instruction told me my intro was lame. So we're gonna put this one in where I tell you how my sister thought my intro was lame, and then we're just gonna roll the intro clip now. This week we are doing the Jolly Holiday Christmas Take! Woo! So let's go! Number one, last minute Christmas shopping or on Black Friday. Kinda don't really have the time to start Christmas shopping like super super early because I'm in school and I work a lot. I actually worked Black Friday and I work in retail. In the mall. <laughs> it was horrible. <laughs> anyway, so I don't think I'm gonna get started Christmas shopping until like next week when school's over and I'm studying for exams and stuff because that's really the only time I actually have for it and I know stores are gonna be so packed but just gotta push through it. I'm always one of those last minute shoppers. Number two, if you could be in any Christmas movie what would it be? I would like to be in Home Alone. Number three, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day? Christmas Day because the anticipation of everything is just kind of over and then you get to destroy all of the paper and stuff and then see everyone's faces light up when they see what you bought them and getting together with my family and eating a little bit too much food though let's be honest that's the entire Christmas holiday pretty much and Christmas dinner yum four when does the tree go up and who decorates it it tends to go up pretty late because everyone in my family is really really busy like we don't have ours up yet right now and I'm not entirely sure when it's actually gonna get done usually me my mom and my sister we decorate it and my dad kind of hangs around to do the lights and the garland because he's the only one who's really tall enough to do it and whenever I try and do it I usually botch it horribly and then the tree just looks bad number five white lights or colored lights colored much more festive Number six, are you guilty of peeking or do you like the surprise? I like the surprise now, but when I was younger, I was really, really bad for trying to peek. I would sneak around the house and try and find it. And then when we found Mom's hiding spot for gifts, that was just bad. Number seven, live in a gingerbread house or Santa's workshop? I think if I lived in a gingerbread house, I might just start eating it, and then eventually the house would be gone. So I'm going to go with Santa's workshop, even though it's like probably chaotic right now this time of year. Number eight. Christmas Eve traditions? We don't really have any specific ones, we kind of just get together for dinner with all of the family and the younger kids, they kind of hang around in the basement and they play video games and then the older kids, they hang around and they're really loud and pretend to babysit the younger ones and then the adults just kind of like hang around the dinner table and the house is just really really loud. Number nine, if you could be with anyone under the mistletoe, who would it be? I'm Weasley. Ten, what tops your tree? It's a glowy little angel. Can you name the 12 days of Christmas? Partridge on a pear tree to turtle doves. Uh, is it part of the song? I thought it was like something specific. Purchase in a pear tree, turtle doves, French hens. I can't remember what four is. Nope. What are some foods and treats you count on having every holiday season? Well, we always seem to have pigs in a blanket around our house for, like, any special occasion. Also, my mother's homemade Oreo cookies. Number 15. How has Christmas kept its magic for you as you've grown older? When I get to see family that I don't see that often and just being together and hanging out during the holidays. But I think most of it is how we still get up early on Christmas morning, even though we wouldn't on a normal day. That brings me back to childhood. Granted, it isn't, like, a 5 a.m. start like it used to be, but still. Bye, ladies. Kylie, I'll see you tomorrow.